गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इंग्लिश लिटरेचर नाउ वी आर हियर उथ मैकबेथ एक्ट फाइव सीन टू दिस सीन इज वेरी शॉर्ट सीन बट दिस सीन ऑल्सो एक्ट एज ए कोरिक सीन दिस सीन इन्फॉर्मर्स अबाउट द कंडीशन ऑफ द बैटल ए ग्रुप ऑफ स्कॉट इज थिंस एंटर ऑन दर ओए टू बिजनाम उड to get united with malcolm and the english forces and they talk about the progress of war and they also talk about macbeth they indicate that although macbeth's army is still obeying him it no longer feels loyalty towards the king so about the condition of macbeth and about the direction of the war we come to know from this scene so this scene is very short but also this scene is significant mentieth lenox mentieth catnes angus all these things just enter and the soldiers the english power is near english power means english army is near so this is the first information we get led on by malcolm his uncle seward and the good macduff revenge is born in them for their dear causes there are enough causes to um, for revenge there are enough dear causes there are enough causes to for their revenge ud to the bleeding and the grim alarm excite the mortified man and their grievous wrongs would incite even a mortified man means paralyzed or dead man to join the bloody and grim call to battle so they have dear causes they have enough grievous causes and for that even a paralyzed or dead man can join in this grim war angus near bishnam wood sal will meet them the oe are they coming so it will be appropriate for us to confront them near bishna mood because they are advancing in that direction so the english army is approaching led by malcolm and magda is also there and scottish army they also the scottish then who are against macbeth they are also going to meet near the bishna mood and the very mention of bishna mood as just reminding the audience and the reader for that prophecy that prophecy that macbeth cannot be vanquished till birna would come to dunsinan is it going to be is it going to do so is it going to be so let's wait and see catness who knows if donalbin be with his brother lenox for certain sir he is not i have a file they are talking about these things that maybe donald bell with his catnesses but lenox denies that i am absolutely sad that donald bell is not with his brother i have a file of all the gentry actually i have a list of all the gentry there is seward son and many under of you that even now protest their first of man so i have a list and from there we find that there is not donald bell is not there mentieth what does the tyrant it refers to macbeth now no one is taking macbeth's name directly they are talking in indirect abusive words like tyrant what this tyrant is doing catness great dunsinan he strongly fortifies macbeth knows that Duns- that he has to fortify his dunsinan so that birnam cannot meet dunsinan so what he is doing he is just strengthening the defense of his castle he is strengthening the defense of his castle that is dunsinan okay so do some days you'd mad some says he is mad the so some people are saying that he is mad others that laser hit them and the other people who hit them a little bit do call it valiant fury so some people are of the opinion that he has gone mad and others who hate him less describe his mood as valiant rage means he is just 
wild in passion he is disturbed with his rage mad in rage valiant is not here in positive term but negative term desperate with his fury but for certain he cannot buckle his distempered cause within the belt of rule but what image is again a dress image because buckle but it is certain that he is unable to restrain his wild passion that the kingdom which he rules has become rebellious and he cannot control it anymore cannot buckle it cannot control his rule anymore everything is going to fall astray macbeth subjects are rebellious so macbeth is unable to keep his wild passion in control macbeth's authority is declining they want to mean that macbeth's authority is declining angus now does he feel his secret murder sticking on his hands so now he can feel that murders which he committed secretly are showing themselves to him in the shape of dry blood stains sticking on his hands now minutely revolves upbraid his faith breach and every minute revelations are now taking place those he commands move only in command and people the soldiers the soldiers are just acting only under his command not any nothing in love means not in for for any love if now minutely what does it give? means every minute people are rebellion rebelling against him and faith breach faith breach means treason once macbeth was accused of treason and now everyone is behaving treacherous to him the soldiers who are obeying his commands they are doing so only under the compulsion the soldiers are obeying the command only under the compulsion not out of respect or love okay so once this treacherous man is now being treach now um, other people are just behaving treacherous towards him now does he feel his title hang loose upon him like a giant's robe upon a dwarf is thief so again we find the dress image dress image is the most recurrent image of this play so macbeth's dress macbeth's kingship is too heavy a burden for him his macbeth is unworthy macbeth is unworthy to be a king and for that reason his kingship is too heavy hanging loosely awkwardly on him as if he is a dwarf he is a dwarf and his robe is of a giant's robe he is given to wear a, wear a giant's robe mentiet who then shall blame his pestered senses pestered senses means tormented nerves tormented nerves to recoil and start who will is going to blame his tormented nerves to quiver recoil to jump back and quiver just he is just too much disturbed when all that is within him does condemn itself for being there who is going to be blamed none because all the faculties of his mind are employed in self condemnation whatever he is now in which condition he is now it is totally he is responsible for that he is now self condemned he is now suffering from self condemnation 
catness well march we on okay go on marching march we on to give obedience what it is truly owed so we truly we legally owe it to whom we are going means he is referring to malcolm so we are want to join the malcolm meet with the medicine of the sickly will let us meet the physician who is the physician it refers to malcolm medicine here yeah, medicine refers to actually medicine refers to physician and physician refers to malcolm sickly will sickly will means diseased commonwealth let us meet the physician malcolm who can cure our diseased commonal only now malcolm can cure us from this disease and so we must go there and meet him and can uh, can purge our country can with his power we are in country's power is drop us all, drop of us with the drop of our blood we can purge we can rescue you can purify our country from this sickly one lenox so or so much as it needs to dew the sovereign flower and drown the weeds to dew means to water to dew means to water to refresh the sovereign flower means the royal flower and drown the weeds weeds means that are not necessary so with this we want it is necessary to refresh our royal flower and weeds means all the worthless elements we must remove all the worthless elements make our march towards birnam let us march towards birnam mood so all are in high spirit and even though all are in high spirit they are going to join macbeth they are taunting him they are accusing him abusing him don't you feel a note of sympathy don't you feel sad for macbeth i don't know but i that you are feeling or not but uh, i'm feeling a bit sad for macbeth anyway there is nothing to do what you have done you have faced that punishment you must face the punishment of your crime okay in our next day we are going to talk about sin 3 where we are going to meet macbeth we must know what macbeth is in which condition stay with me keep your patience we are going to finish macbeth